I have a question today, Epic Gamers. Have you ever been on an online Mario Kart game? And I'm not just talking like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I'm talking everything since DS. Now, t take a gander at this photo. What do you see? Go on, I'll give you a moment. If you guessed a lobby full of people ready to race to their heart's content, you're wrong, okay? You lost. Get out of here! What you should have said is a bunch of tall dudes riding on caterpillars. Now, you may be thinking, why? Personally, I thought it was just because everyone loved Waluigi. As if, like, the entirety of Japan had just come together and agreed, like, yes, this is the character, this is it. What a foolish young boy I was. No, it's something way more repulsive. It's apparently because he had, like, the best stats or something when combined with this wiggler car and the roller wheels. Notice how I said had, though. Because recently, Nintendo changed this by buffing a bunch of other cars, essentially killing this combo so nobody wanted to use it anymore. But then obviously new combinations rose in popularity, and now everyone has to put up with those now instead. But personally, I never quite got it. I mean, I'm never using these things, and I'm still winning fairly consistently. So why would these Rampallions do this? Well, let's see. Even though I just told you. I'm no in-depth master at the mechanics of this game, so I can't tell you exactly how this all works. I have tried some of these popular combos before, and to be fair, I can feel the difference. It's no, it- FUCK! It's obvious that you want to win the game, so you're clearly going to choose whatever will work best to achieve your task. But like, really? You're willing to just be another clone among the endless sea of freaks? There was even a Reddit post complaining about this, followed by about eight years worth of typing that this sweaty gamer threw together. Mario Kart Wii had a similar situation with Funky Kong and the Flame Rider. Great combo, hindered by the fact that by using it you look like everyone else. Now, don't get me wrong, the roller wheels are sick. They have awesome drifting, they mini turbo faster, or something I think. There's no wonder all the best time trials use them. But personally, I always thought they just looked a little bit silly. Like, they're these little tiny stroller wheels that are somehow supporting the weight of everything above it. As for the other cars I tend to see favored most commonly... Oh boy. Think of the most impractical, downright goofiest thing you could possibly turn into a vehicle and drive. Now put it in Mario Kart, and that is basically what ended up being the most popular combos online. Like, a teddy bear? You could have chosen any car or bike to give the best stats to. Why not this sexy little thing? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'd much rather ride this literal toy made for infants. Even personal friends of mine have fallen victim to this madness. Look at Chunky Bread disrespecting the name of my overlord and dear friend Luigi by having him cruise around on this tube-like thingamajig that looks like it's exploding with shit. I mean, for God's sake, look at this dude. Possibly the heaviest, most menacing character driving on a trikey. Look at how stupid he looks. Never be like this person. Don't worry, I'd totally nail his sorry butt in the next race. <laughs> <coughs> Holy shit! I was sitting on my swivel chair, racking my brain. Is it possible to drive something cool and still have a chance? Well, actually, with this new recent update, yes, they buffed everything. You can beat some of the best combos with the most basic carts, no horse feathers. This is great for me since some of my golden stuff was buffed thanks to this, as well as Luigi and Toadette. Nintendo knew what they were doing too, since they buffed basically everything except the roller wheels. That doesn't stop it from being the most picked though. You tried, guys. Now, while I don't know anything about the exact mechanics of these popular cars, I do just so happen to have sources that specifically tell me. What? Oh. Oh, you think I'm gonna read it? No. No, I'm, I'm just gonna have my friend Cameron do it. So, apparently, the roller tires have a great mini-turbo acceleration boost, as well as great handling and such. People also like the Ink Striker, because Splatoon is pretty popular, maybe, I think. I don't have Switch Online or Mario Kart 8. I send you my thanks, sir. You did the best you could with me asking you to do this three minutes after you woke up on a Monday. In terms of what I pick, you probably know by now that I am particularly fond of the golden cart parts. I always picked Luigi, but when I found out about that golden cart, I was just like, YES! I would always use the standard cart, so this was just an objectively better version of that. And to this day, I always pick the golden cart, golden wheels, golden glider, and my man Weege. Also Toadette. I love you, Toadette. And in my opinion, winning the races depends a lot less on what you pick and a lot more on your skill. 
you can pull off totally sick shortcuts with an SUV and off-road wheels, then you're going to be doing better than someone who can't do that, but is riding the Ink Striker with roller wheels. It's a given. Not saying I can pull off totally sick shortcuts with an SUV and off-road wheels, that was totally luck right there. And speaking of luck, this game relies on that too. I could beat an absolute god riding the best car combos if I just happened to get a well-timed red shell near the end. That's just how Mario Kart is and always has been. So even though I technically could just throw away my dignity and ride this dinky little thing around the place, I just don't think it's that big of a deal. I do understand why people use it though. You gotta maximize your chances of winning, but... A teddy bear?! So, Wave 5 came out about a week ago. It featured some pretty cool courses, and even some nice characters, which I was not expecting. But the most notable change in this case is... The fact that they changed the car stats again. And they did it like right before I was gonna upload this. Apparently nothing huge changed, but this silly little traversable is apparently valid now. It even has this nice little handle for you to hold onto so you don't fall off. How thoughtful. Many vehicle and character stats were altered to be more balanced actually. Pipe frame is actually good now, which is pretty interesting. This Tanuki Jalopy is one of the few options that actually looks like a normal vehicle. Teddy Buggy is still going strong, which is just so cool. Yay. Golden Cart, after some light research, I discovered is still very much unoptimized, so Blake still sucks. Anyways, yeah, I do like the balancing. It's important for Mario Kart. I don't care how good Yoshi is, though. I am always picking Luigi. Hi, it's Pride Month, so here's the gayest character selections you can make in Mario Kart. The poster child for mousy gays. The person that picks this character probably says that they want a wholesome, meaningful relationship, but then you check their Instagram DMs, and then you realize that you are a lot more of a prude than you thought. I literally just woke up and saw that video. Bro, Blake, like, like, us Blake's gotta stick together and everything, but like... What? 